Now let's head down to the Racine County Fairgrounds in Union Grove, where Elizabeth Kramer found some students deep into history and physics at the annual Pumpkin Chuckin' Fest. Today I am at the Pumpkin Chuckin' Festival at the Racine County Fairgrounds, and we are going to show you why this sport has become so popular and what goes Three, into a great chuck. Two, one. So what's a trebuchet? Isn't that like the fancy word for a catapult? No, it is not. It's something completely different. Okay, tell me about it. A catapult uses sort of like a tension. A trebuchet uses momentum from the weight to launch it as far as possible. Catapults were not meant to go very far. You can see that because like even in like Renaissance times, they didn't try to get things very far. They just try to get over the wall. Simple. Mm -hmm. This is our fourth year with Pumpkin Chuckin. The first year we did it um, to engage the high schools and the middle schools around in the area with STEM, which is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. This way they could bring those skills into the classroom and give them a way to kind of really visualize what, what that meant to them. Hey, Quill's place, I want you to go up there, I want you to loosen that and push it up to the weights. We're getting more schools and different schools participating. It is a challenge because October is near the beginning of school. So these schools are planning, learning the physics, and building the machine in less than two months. Not only do they learn the physics, they're working on their soft skills because they have to contact businesses looking for sponsorships because you can imagine that these are expensive to build. And then they have to do the design and they have to vote on it as a class and decide on which design they want to use. The basic trebuchet gains efficiency because the weight swings. If you ever look at a trebuchet, like an old Lord of the Rings style trebuchet, the counterweight is swinging and that swinging actually improves the efficiency of uh, putting the energy into the projectile. We have a 300 pound counterweight. So it comes up through this pulley, so it puts it above the number ratio above it. And we have notches in each of these arms. So uh, like if you go on a stool that spins around, if you spin around and you put your legs out, you go slower. But if you pull your legs in, you go faster. It's not necessarily the weight where you get your distance from. It's the timing of the release. So if it releases too early, if you have it going backwards or up, you want to find that sweet spot just at the right angle. That angle needs to go down quite a lot more. Keep in mind that every inch that you move it, just compound it. So, could we bend the end more? Good. Your two choices are shortening the sling by about an inch and a half. Or, move that about a half inch forward. I wouldn't do both. No. Well, this thing's going to be easier to do. But not necessarily better. So my dad helped us make a scale model. Then after we did that, we had to count up all the supplies we needed. Oh, the pulley goes down and up and down and over and over again to lift it up. How do we get to that point of the pumpkin flying through the air? Okay. Well, um, you have to crank it 72 times. That's how many times it takes for it to get up there. Then, once it is up there, you have to push that part in, take off the rope so it does not break it, and then when you're ready, you would like go over to the side and then you'd pull it as hard as you can. What goes into picking a good pumpkin? Um, you want it kind of heavy and it's better if it's round because we were testing it with the bowling ball and it's a lot better if it's cause more rounded. Well, I knew from my experience from science and math, like the trajectory and how straightforward it could launch it. It's really fun because you can just like, some math problems, you have to think about it. It's not just super easy. Three, two, one. For the 
17 great pumpkin chucking fest junior division first place winners with a shot of 512 feet it's st john's lutheran the kids had won their division with a record-breaking toss but the day of long distance pumpkin chucking wasn't over yet We're gonna get him, man. We're gonna get him. Those 11 year olds are going down. No, I'm happy for them. Their machine is awesome. It's really a well made machine. And they clearly know a lot about it because it worked well. One nine one point four. Things are going really well. It's throwing the way we want it to. So we'll just hope for a little bit better rotation on the next throw. That's long as this is. Yes, it is. One foot further. That's, that's one, one foot, foot further than the record. Oh, really? I yes. Were, yes. I thought they were one 5'12". Foot. They were 5'12 yeah. and we're 5'13". I don't care if it's one foot or 20 feet. We got it and that's what matters. Awesome. Woo we lengthened the sling, which was, should give us a little bit more right? swing, longer contact time with the pole, and also releases slightly higher. So all Woo. of our days of hard work paid off. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of pumpkin pie in the sky.